What's up, what's up, everybody? It's Jenny. I am back with a, whew, a bunch of hauls that I'm going to be filming. Um, this is my Kit Kat haul from Japan. So if you don't already know, in Japan, um, I guess they love Kit Kats and they love like different flavored Kit Kats. And um, I think this is the only place that you can get some of these flavors that we got. So now it's become like a thing for omiyage to take back to the States. So these are just some of the ones that I got. Um, I think you can probably get them at like Japan merchandise wholesalers or discount places like Marukai or Don Quixote. But um, the price is a lot more expensive than what um, you pay in Japan. So... And then again, some of the flavors you cannot get anywhere else. Okay, so the first one that we got was the Kit Kat Dark. And the reason why we got this one is because my mother-in-law and my daughter wanted this uh, particular flavor. They didn't want to buy it for how much they were charging in the stores here. So we picked up a couple bags of that um, for them. And it was it was a pretty reasonable price. Um, and then I think we just got that at the grocery store. And then we found this one again, which we've tried before. It's like a creme brulee flavor, and you actually have to bake it in the toaster. And then it comes um, brown, like how creme brulee comes. So my mother-in-law liked that the last time that we gave that to her, so we got her another bag. And then um, we went to a Kit Kat um, store in Ikebukuro. And it's, I thought it, when I was watching everybody's videos, it looked like it was like an actual store store itself, but it wasn't. It was, um, a store within a department store. So if you go into Cebu, I think that's the name of the department store, and it's right in the train station in Ikebukuro. Um, and then there's all this food stuff. So there's tons of like omiyage, like mochi, manju, arare, all different kind of stuff. All the way in the back of the store, um, there's a little, um, what is it called? Like a little shop for Kit Kat. And they make like specialty flavors. I think you can only get it at that store. So here's the ones that we picked up from them. And it's like wrapped really like nicely. So this one is, uh, and there's only like a couple of the small packs in here. Like it's not much. What is this one? Okay, so this one we thought was interesting. This one is called Butter. So we haven't tried any of these yet, but um, what I think what we're going to do is have like a Kit Kat tasting party at our house for our friends. Um, that's what we did last time, and then they can all sample the different types. Because there's no way we could have brought enough for each person. Okay, and then this one is cream cheese. And then... This one is strawberry maple. And they had one more that I picked up later on that I'll show you. Um, then we got this one. It's called I Love Fruits. And see all the different ones on top. So this one is strawberry. This is blueberry, raspberry, coconut. And I think this is fig. And then they have these like specialty ones. So it's really small. Like this is the regular box. And then this is... I think it's probably just two pieces. Um, and it's called Sublime. And this one is like raspberry. I think it's dark chocolate. That's my guess. Um, and then I think this one is just dark. And I think these, like, they only make so many of those. So you have to get there to get it. And I guess this is the white chocolate. And like my box is kind of bust up already. Okay, so that's the Kit Kat store haul. And then, um, of course, at the end of our trip, um, when you go to the Haneda Airport, there's a bunch of little kiosks right when you're actually going to check in. And we found a bunch of Kit Kat, um, th that they sell Kit Kat there. So this is for our tasting party. We got the, um, it looks like chili, chili flavored. And I think this is the... I'm guessing it's a banana pepper, or I don't know, but it's yellow. Anyway, I saw somebody, I think it was um, Charlotte in Japan, her video, and I think she said it's hot, but it's like chocolate. So um, our friends, um, they like hot, so we thought that they would get a kick out of that. This is the other flavor that they had at that Kit Kat 
um, store that I didn't get, but I since I saw it at the airport, I thought I would get it because my sister tried it and she liked it, and we all tried it and we're like, oh, this is kind of nice. It's a little bit different. It's a it's matcha, which is green tea, but it has um, cherry blossom extract in it, and that was to me better than the regular matcha one, which we've tried before. So I got a big box of that, and then this one I always get just because I don't know. I like it it's a strawberry cheesecake version and i like it because it's in the shape of mount fuji so anyway that is my Kit Kat haul which is quite a bit and this isn't even all like we bought several of the same flavors so um we have tons of Kit Kat right now um i have way more to share with you guys so i'll see you guys in the next video bye